Marsh birds, they're sneaky. They're really sneaky. They slide through the reeds. They hide behind the cattails. They'll come out to the mud just long enough to grab an insect and go back in. The only way to find marsh birds is to be sneakier. Let's sneak up on a few. If you want to be sneakier than a marsh bird, use a boat because marsh birds aren't expecting trouble from the water side. See, they're used to predators coming from the land side, skunks, raccoons, some areas even possums. From the water side, not so much. It's almost like they have a moat to protect this side of the castle. So when you come in from the water side, they're really not expecting it. You have another big advantage over marsh birds. Marsh birds are very territorial, but their territories are small, so you can pack in a lot of them. They are constantly telling each other where they are so as not to run afoul of each other. So they'll tell you where they are. They're packed in close. There's a lot of them. You should see how many swamp sparrows are in just this little section. Marsh wrens actually cluster up. If you got one, you got more than one. Okay, pay attention. This place is so full of Virginia rails. And there he comes. Another case of being very territorial. Virginia rails talk to each other all the time. And if they think one's close, they go check it out. So it's really easy to see them once you expect that behavior. Okay, there's one loon. Usually there's a nest in here. Oh, and there's the other one. She's on a nest and she's keeping her head real low, hoping I don't see her. And since she doesn't want me here and I don't want me here, I'm backing out slowly so we don't bother each other. This marsh has something special going on. It's got both alder and willow. And so it's got both alder and willow flycatcher. Well, what makes this spot special is alder flycatchers tend to be further north, willow flycatchers tend to be further south, and they don't overlap a lot. They do in Maine, and they especially do right here. And there's your kingbird. And there's your kingbird on a nest. Yellow warbler, that one's kind of a gimme. Look at that. Least bitter, that's unusual. Can you believe this? I'm in a staring contest with a Maine State Endangered Species. Doesn't this bird ever blink? All right, you win. You should at least give this video a like, just for the effort. Sandhill Cranes. This is the first year I've been able to confirm that they're in this marsh. I've suspected it for a while, but this year, here they are. Dancing in courtship. Been here for weeks. Dancing is something that all cranes do, and Sandhill Cranes are no exception. They don't even have to be courting. Sometimes they just do it as communication to each other. They didn't really used to be in Maine. 
about 20, up to 30 years ago, they started moving in. I don't know why it took them so long. Maybe because we were a forested state and they like a lot of uh, dry agricultural type fields around the edges of marshes where they nest. And we were just too forested. It's not because we're too far north. They'll go right up to the Arctic tundra. Marsh birds go forth and be sneaky. 